Hi everyone, welcome back to our e-commerce website tutorial using HTML and CSS. And in our previous parts, we have created our this beautiful homepage. And then we have also created our shop page. In this page, we have a list of products. And then we have our pagination section also so that we can add multiple product list inside this website. And then if we go to the top and if we select our first product here you can see that we have a product gallery and then we have our product details and at the bottom we have some related products here. And then we have created our blog page. So this is our blog page here you can see that we have some main blogs and we have a banner and then we have some smaller blogs. And now in this part we will create our cart page using HTML and CSS. Here you can see that we have a cart icon and if I click on our cart icon, here you can see that now we are in our shopping cart page and in our shopping cart page we have a table here with the details of the products and then we have a coupon section and then we have our cart total section. In our shopping cart here you can see that we have a delete option and then we have the images of the product and the product name, product price, quantity and the total price. And we will create our this shopping cart page step by step using HTML, CSS and Bootstrap. But before we get started, if you guys are new in my channel, then please please subscribe, like this video and press the bell icon for the future videos. Also if you guys didn't watch our previous parts, I will give you the link in the description. That's it guys, let's get started. Inside our code editor, previously we have created our blog.html file and we have already added our style sheet. Now for creating our cart page, we have to create a new cart.html file. So that's why I create a new file and then we have to save the file. And here we have to give a name and it will be cart.html. That's it. Now let's go to our blog.html file and select everything from here copy and then go to our cart.html file and then paste it here and now close our blog.html file now save this file and let's go to live with our live server and here you can see that our url is now changed and it is now cart.html file but this page is showing the details of our blog.html file so first we have to remove these things so that's why let's go to our code and then now I scroll down close our blog container now select this section and delete that's it now save and go to our website and here you can see that now we have only our heading and our footer now first we have to change our heading and our heading will be shopping cart so copy this heading from here let's go to our code and then paste it here now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our shopping cart heading so after our heading now we have to create our this table so for creating the table let's go to our code and underneath this section we have to create another section and here we have to give a id and the id will be cart container and inside this section, first we have to create a table tag for creating our table. And here we have to set the width of 100%. And inside this table, if I go to my website, here you can see that we have a table header. So first we have to create this table header. So for creating this one, let's create our T head. That's it. And inside this table header, we have to create a table row. And inside this table row, we have to create our table data. And our first table data will be our remove. So that's why it will be remove. Now copy this one and then paste it for five times. That's it. And our second one will be image. Our third one will be product. And our fourth one will be price. Our fifth one will be quantity and our last one will be total. 
that's it now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our remove image product price quantity and total now here you can see that we don't have any padding from the left side and from the right side so that's why let's go to our section and here we have to create a class and here we have to add a bootstrap class which will be container that's it and this container class will be adding some extra padding from left and right side now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have now a spacing from left and right side now after this one i want to add some margin from top and bottom of our this table so that's why let's go to our code and here we have to create another class and it will be my it means margin from top and bottom and it will be 5 now save and go to our website and here you can see that now we have some spacing from top and bottom so after creating our table header now we have to style this table header so that's why let's go to our style sheet so underneath our block container first we have to comment out and it will be cart that's it now let's go to our cart.html file and from here copy this id and go to our style sheet and then paste it here then we have to target our table so first we have to add border collapse and it will be collapse and then we have to set a width and it will be 100% then we have to add table layout and it will be fixed that's it now copy this one again and then paste it here and from here now we have to target our table head and here i want to change the font width of the header and it will be font width 700 now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have now changed the font width of our table header now we have to add some background color of our table header so that's why copy this one again and then paste it here and this time we have to target our table data and first i will add a background color and the color will be this one and then i will add some text color and it will be white and we have to add border none now save and go to our website and here you can see that now we have changed the background color of our header after this one now we have to add some padding from top bottom left and right so that's why we have to add some padding and the padding from top and bottom will be 6 pixel and from left and right it will be 0 now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have now spacing from top and bottom so after our table header now we have to create our first row so that's why let's go to our code and go to our html file and underneath our table head we have to create a table body and inside our table body we have to create our first row and then we have to create our table data and our first table data will be an icon of our delete button so that's why we have to create an anchor tag and it will be hash and then inside this anchor tag we have to create an icon tag and we have to add a class and the class will be f a s f a fresh old now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our delete button so after this one now we have to add our image so that's why we have to create another table data and here we have to create an image tag and I have an image folder and inside this image folder I have a shoes folder and then I will take our first one so after this one we have to create another table data and inside this table data we have to create a h5 for our product name and then let's go to our website and from here copy this product name and then paste it here after about this table data we have to create another one and then we have to create a h5 again and then we have to add the price after this one we have to create another table data and here we have to create an input tag and the type will be number after this one we have to create our last table data for our total and here we have to create a h5 and we have to add the total price now save and go to our website 
and here you can see that we have our delete button our image our product name our price quantity and total now for our quantity i will decrease the size of our this input section so that's why let's go to our input and here we have to create a class and we have to add a bootstrap class and it will be w25 it means with 25 percent and then i want some padding from the left side so that's why we have to add padding left one and then i want to add a default value which will be one so that's why we have to add a value and it will be one now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have 25 percent width of our input section and we have a default value which is one now after this one we have to style our this first row so that's why let's go to our style sheet now copy this one and then paste it here and then we have to target our all table data including table head and a table body first we will give a border and a border will be from everywhere so that's why one pixel solid and the color will be this one and then we have to add text align center now save and go to our website and here you can see that our every text is now in the center and we have our border from everywhere now next thing what we have to do we have to define the width for each of these table data so let's go to our code and from here copy the class names and id and then paste it here then we have to call our pseudo element and it will be nth child one First, I'm going to resize our first table data. So that's why let's give a width of 100 pixel. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that our this section is now taking only 100 pixel. So we have to do the same for the rest of the table data. So let's go to our code, copy this one and then paste it here. Now target our second table data and copy this one, then paste it here and then target our third one also. And this time they will take 200 pixel width. Now save, go to our website. And here you can see that each of these section is now taking 200 pixel. Now after this one, we have to do the same for this table data. Now copy this one and then paste it here. This time we have to target our fourth one and the fifth one. Now copy this one again and then paste it here. And then target our last one also. And the width will be 170 pixel. That's it. Now save and go to our website and here you can see that this three table data is now taking 170 pixel width. So after this one we have to give a width for our this image also. So that's why just copy this one and then paste it here. And here we have to target our table body and then image. And here we have to give the width of 100 pixel and we have to give a height of 80 pixel. And then I want to take this image to take the full 100 pixel width and the full 80 pixel height. So that's why we have to add object fit cover. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that our this section is now taking 100 pixel width and 80 pixel height. So guys, we have done with our first row and now we have to add two more. So that's why let's go to our code, go to our HTML. Copy this table row and then paste it two more times. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that we have now two more rows. Now we have to change the images of our these rows. So that's why just go to our image and here we have to select the third one and the second one. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that we have now three different images. Now after our image, I want to change the colors of our delete button. So that's why let's go to our style sheet. Copy these classes and ID and then paste it here. Then target our icon. And here we have to give a different color and the color will be this one. Now save and go to our website. And here you can see that we have now different colors for our these icons. And here you can see that we have successfully created our table for our cart. After this one, now we have to create our coupon section and our this card total. So that's why let's go to our HTML.
underneath our this section we have to create another section and then we have to add an id and the id will be cut bottom and then we have to add a class container so that we can have some space from left and right and inside our this section if i go to my website here you can see that our coupon section and our cart total section they are now in one row and i want to do the same for this one so what we have to do i will put our this section into one div and i will put our this total section in our another div tag so that's why let's go to our code and here we have to create a div tag and the class name of this div tag will be row because we are using row class from our bootstrap and here we have to create a class for our coupon and the class name will be coupon and the next what we have to do we have to specify the columns for our responsive screens also and here we have to add column large 6 it means it will take 6 column in our large screen and our this section will take 6 column in our medium screen also and this section will take all the columns in our small screen and then I will add some margin bottom 4 that's it and here let's create another div tag first we have to create a h5 for our heading and if I go to my website here you can see that we have our heading now copy this heading and then paste it here then we have to create a paragraph for our smaller text now copy this text from here and then paste it here and then we have to create an input tag for our coupon and here we have to add a placeholder and the placeholder will be coupon code and then we have to create our button and the button will contain apply coupon now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our coupon our text our coupon section and then we have our button now we have to create our this card total so that's why just copy this div tag and then paste it here and here it will be c o u and for our second div tag we have to change the class name and it will be total and i don't want any margin bottom from our this section and for our heading we have to copy this card total and then paste it here and if i go to my website here you can see that we have a subtotal and the price shipping and the price total and the price so here what we have to do we have to create some separate div tag for each of this row so that's why let's go to our code and here we don't need our this input section and our this paragraph and here we have to create a div tag and inside this div tag first we have to create a h6 and this h6 will contain our subtotal copy and then paste it here then we have to create a paragraph tag for our this pricing and here we have to add some bootstrap class and it will be d flex it means display flex and justify content between it means i want some space from the between so that's why justify content between and from here copy this section and then paste it and for our second one it will be shipping and then paste it here so after this one we have a horizontal line here so we have to add this one also so that's why we have to add a hr and here we have to add a class name for our this horizontal line and it will be second hr that's it so after this one we have to copy this div tag again and then paste it here and for our this div tag we have to copy our total and then paste it here that's it and for our button we have to add a different button here you can see that we have a proceed to checkout proceed to checkout now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our card total so after this one now we have to style this section so for styling let's go to our code and from here copy the id card bottom and then go to our style sheet then paste it here and then first we have to target our coupon so that's why copy the coupon and then paste it here 
and inside our coupon class we have a div tag so that's why we have to take the div tag and here I will add a border and if we go to the top here you can see that we have already a border now copy this border code and then paste it here now save and go to our website here you can see that we have border around our this coupon section now let's go to our code and from here copy this class and id then paste it here then target our age 5 and let's go to the top and here you can see that we have some properties for our table head now copy these properties and then paste it here and for the padding top and bottom will be 6 pixel but from left and right it will be 12 pixel and then we have to add a font width and it will be 700 now save and go to our website here you can see that we have our coupon and then we have changed the background color now we have to target our this paragraph and our this input section so that's why copy these class names and then paste it here then target our paragraph first i'm going to add some padding and the padding from top and bottom will be zero but from left and right it will be 12 pixel now copy this one and then paste it here and then target our input now save go to our website so after this one we have to change the height of our this input section so that's why let's go to our code and copy this one then paste it here then we have to add height and it will be 44 pixel now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have now 44 pixel height now after this one we have to add some margin from left and right of our this section so that's why copy this one and then paste it here and then add some margin margin from top will be 0 from right 0 from bottom it will be 20 pixel and from left it will be 12 pixel now save and go to our website so after this one we have to install our card total so that's why just go to our code and here you can see that we have our h5 now copy this one and then paste it here and from here we have to change the coupon class if i go to my index here you can see that we have a total class now copy this total and then go to our style sheet then paste it here now save and go to our website here you can see that we have our card total that's it so after this one we have to add some border from everywhere so that's why just go to the top and here you can see that we have a border now copy this one from here and then paste it here again and this time we have to change the class and it will be total now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have border from everywhere after our border i want some padding for our this subtotal and the pricing i want to add some padding from left and right so that's why just go to the bottom here and copy this card bottom and we have to add our total class here now if i go to my cart.html here you can see that we have our total class and inside our this class we have a div tag and inside this div tag we have some div tag for our this subtotal and the shipping text so first we have to target our div tag and then target the inside our div tag and here we have to add the padding padding from top and bottom will be 0 but from the left and right it will be 12 pixel now save and go to our website and here you can see that now we have some space from left and right after this one we have to change the color of our this text so for doing this let's go to our code copy this one then paste it here then target our h6 and then we have to add a color text color and it will be this one now save and go to our website and here you can see that our text color is now changed so after this one now we have to change the color of our this horizontal line so that's why if i go to my cart.html here you can see that we have a class name for our this horizontal line now copy this one and then paste it here and then first we have to add a background and the background will be this one and then we have to add a width of 100% then we have to add a height of 1 pixel now save and go to our website and here you can see that we have our horizontal line after this one i want to change the placing of our this button if i go to my website here you can see that our button is now in the right side 
so I want to do the same for this one so that's why let's go to our code and from here copy this class and div tag and then paste it here and inside our this div tag we have our button and here first we have to add some margin margin from top will be 0 from right 12 pixel from bottom 20 pixel and from left 0 pixel and then we have to add a display flex and justify content will be flex end after this one let's go to our cart.html and here you can see that we have our button and here we have to add a bootstrap class and it will be margin from left side auto that's it now save and go to our website and here you can see that our this button is now in the right side so guys here you can see that we have successfully created our cart page using html css and bootstrap and now we have to check if our this page is responsive or not so that's why inspect our website so guys here you can see that our this two section is now responsive but our this table section is not responsive so we have to do something let's go to our code and let's go to our style sheet and let's go to our table and here inside our table we have to add quite a space no wrap that's it and copy this cart container then paste it here and then we have to add overflow x and it will be auto now save and go to our website and guys here you can see that we don't have any scroll bar at the bottom and here you can see that this section is actually now scrollable we can scroll the section so that we can check the details and this page is now looking good in our ipad screen now let's change the screen and let's go to our mobile phone and guys here you can see that we are now in our mobile screen and in our smaller screen our this heading and our this section is now looking good we can scroll this table so that we can check the details and in our coupon section our this button is not having any space from the bottom and from the left side so we have to do something here we have our button apply coupon so that's why we have to add some spacing so for add the spacing let's go to our code and let's go to our coupon section here you can see that we are now in our coupon so in our input section here you can see that we have some margin so i will simply copy this input and then paste it here and then we have to target our button now save and go to our website and here you can see that our this button is now also taking some space from left and bottom here so our coupon section is now fixed and our this card total is also looking good so guys here you can see that our this card page is now fully responsive and it is looking good in every kind of devices here you can see that now we are in our mobile screen device and this page is also responsive for our ipad screen size and this page is also responsive for our large screen device so guys here you can see that we have successfully created our shopping cart page using html css and bootstrap step by step and also please guys let me know in my comment section what can i do for our next part or what can i create for this website in our next part so that's it guys hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you guys really do then please please subscribe like this video and press the bell icon for the future videos and if you guys have any question about this video please let me know in my comment section see you in our next tutorial